the first time since the International Integrated Reporting Framework was published in 2013, we've undertaken a worldwide consultation and feedback exercise. You will find the results of this feedback exercise now and see that the disagreements, the ambiguities, the misunderstandings are no longer about the concept of integrated reporting but practical issues about its implementation. We welcome the consultation. I think it was uh, a very good point of inflection. A couple years on from the launch of the framework we've had a number of companies uh, pursue the framework and really trying to embed it within the organization and the way that they do business. What we learned through the, uh, the consultation that we did is we actually learned that there were a lot of similar challenges that organizations were having. Some of the challenges raised uh, by the stakeholders include the use of the multi-capital approach uh, in terms of it's easier in some industries like a services industry as compared to a manufacturing industry. The use and the discussion of uh, the stocks and flows and trade-offs and consequences is not coming through very well in some reports. We believe that with the work that the IRRC is undertaking is very important and therefore SACA continues to support the IIRC and we are looking forward to the next chapter. The demand from investors and other stakeholders for more information and transparency from companies is changing the corporate landscape around the world. At Charter Professional Council of Canada, we, we support a more holistic and integrated approach to external corporate reporting. And that's really the reason why we were very pleased that the IRC undertook this important review. The process provided us at CPA Canada with valuable insight into the enablers and the barriers to the potential implementation of integrated reporting in Canada. It also reinforced for us our commitment to work with the IRC. I would like to thank IRC for including us in the review process of the framework, which we think is a very important moment in the development of integrated reporting worldwide. In particular, we welcome the possibility to stress some of the concepts we think important for the growth of intellectual, of the integrated reporting, such as that of intangibles and intellectual capital. So we learned to work together. We would like to, of course, continue this work together. Here in Brazil, when you think about integrated reports, you know that we are part of something bigger, more complex than just produce more one kind of report. We are part of a transformation. We gave our first step some years ago, and I'd like to invite you to give the second step in the direction of building a bad world to live. We were very happy as MBA to participate in the focus group for the integrated reporting framework feedback. And our focus group consisted of the business network members in the Netherlands. In MBA's vision on corporate reporting, we stress our commitment with integrated reporting. We feel that is the way forward that for corporate reporting to remain relevant. We at the MIA are encouraged by the IIRC's recent efforts to ensure that IR stays relevant. MIA strongly support integrated reporting, which focuses on recognizing value creations to serve the needs of all the relevant stakeholders. Without a doubt, MIA will continue to channel our efforts towards the growth of IR in Malaysia. IR is the way forward, the game changes. Chartered accountants Australia and New Zealand have long advocated for integrated reporting as a more holistic approach to corporate reporting, showing the links between an organization's strategy, governance and business model. We were pleased to host a focus group for the IRC earlier this year in Sydney on the implementation of the framework. The outcomes of this review are important in providing a better understanding of the guidance and leadership the market needs to increase adoption of integrated reporting. Our aim is to ensure that we respond to market need for guidance, research and further resources. The feedback indicated opportunities to provide further guidance and examples. As there is no immediate need to revise the framework itself, we do not plan to initiate a formal framework revision process until at least 2019. The summary report outlines the feedback and the range of actions we currently propose taking. I'd like to thank everyone who has contributed to this exercise and I want to commit the whole organisation, the International Integrated Reporting Council, to implementing its results. This exercise is helping us to simplify, clarify 
and amplify integrated reporting in our world.